Hi face, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're gonna to be testing out the Crybaby perfume and the Porto perfumes to see which one is the best and which one is really worth it. So let's get to it. Here we have the legendary and rare Crybaby perfume. The bottle itself is very cute, very small in size. I literally spent some of my savings buying this. I am just really happy that I finally got this because I have been wanting this for a while now and I'm just like, yes, I finally got it. So let's give it a smell. Instead of using paper to smell the perfume, I decided to use one of my bears. And look how cute he is. Now that the perfume has aired out onto this bear, let's give it a smell. Wow. The smell of the perfume is very sweet, good, wonderful. Truthfully, I feel like I'm smelling a Christmas. It reminds me all of those sugar cookies or gingerbread cookies or something. I have to say, it's making me love this bear even more because now he sent it with the Crybaby perfume. We just finished smelling this perfume. Let's go on to the next one. Now let's try the Porto perfumes. I gotta say, for this collection right over here, it is super cute, super well thought off. I just love how all of the Porto perfumes are all in this cute little statue. All you gotta do is just open it up and then there you go. All cute little perfumes in there. In the Porto perfume set, they have like a variety of perfumes here. All kind of starting up from with Fiery Passion to Air of Clarity, Earthly Abundance, and finally Water of Intuition. Just like with the Crybaby perfume, I'm going to be using my plushies to scent with the Porto perfumes. Let's start off by using Fiery Passion with my one of my favorite dolls that I've made, the Lollapalooza doll. Alrighty, she's been aired out, so let's give her a smell. Oh my goodness. This perfume has been considered one of the famous of the Porto perfumes because of its strawberry sugary scent. And I gotta say, I completely understand if this is literally candy in a bottle. Overall, a really good scent. Next up, we're gonna be using Earthly Abundance by using this cute little plushie that I got from Hey Space Dragon. Alrighty, this doll has been aired out, so let's give her a smell. Wow. Earthly Abundance has been like one of my favorite perfumes ever because I just love the smell of green tea and floral essence as well. I would be wearing this almost all the time. Same thing with Fiery Passion. Sometimes I would mix both of those scents up and it would come out with a sugary green tea-esque scent. The creator definitely used fake moss, which definitely gives it an earthy smell. But when spraying it with Earthly Abundance, it smells even better. Now we are moving on into testing out Water of Intuition by spraying it on another Get the Fuck Out bear that I have. So let's scent this baby. This bear has been aired out, let's give it a smell. Oh my goodness. It definitely has like a very vanilla and cocoa smell in my perspective, giving me almost January going into February. And it's definitely one of the perfumes that my boyfriend likes for me to wear. I don't know why, but Water of Intuition being sprayed on this bear is giving me flashbacks towards when I actually was at the Boston tour. And gotta say, it was one of the greatest nights of my life. I will be telling that story probably in a separate video. Comment down below if you guys want to hear my whole entire trip. Now let's move on with the last perfume. Air of Clarity, and we'll be spraying it with this cute little plushie right over here. Alrighty, this plush has been aired out, so let's give her a smile. Air of Clarity has like a very coconutty, vanilla, a little bit of caramel musky smell. It is definitely one of my mom's favorite perfume. Overall, does smell really good. Perfect for this cute little plushie. Now we have officially come to the part of comparing both of these lovely perfumes. In my opinion, both of them smell really great. Both of them have sentimental value to me. And on top of that, both of these perfumes come from an amazing artist. And I have to say, that it's gonna be a hard pick. Let's get towards the analyzation. The Crying Baby perfume is definitely a one of a kind and has a long lasting sweet cookie dessert scent. It comes in cute packaging and is a great collector's item for any Millie Martinez fan. However, the perfume is no longer in stock, so it's considered a rare perfume now. And if you do try to buy this perfume from someone online, it could cost for over 1K. You have to be extra careful with resellers because there might be possible scammers trying to take your money. The final thing is that it would also be really tough to resell since some buyers would like to get a discount. The Porto Perfume Scent is the second perfume released by Melanie. It comes in a variety of long-lasting perfumes, can be bought in individual perfume vials, and it's also a great collector's item for any Melanie Martinez fan. However, this perfume does get sold out real quickly and is resold for 300 to 1k. Definitely be careful of resellers and scammers, especially on Etsy. I've gone through an experience with someone sold it on Etsy and I got scammed out of my money. Luckily, Etsy managed to get me my money back. 
Also, the statue needs to be taken care of, otherwise the head or the hair may come off. In conclusion, both perfumes have both their pros and their cons, yet both perfumes have high quality and everlasting scents. The perfume that I believe is the most worth it and the best out of the both of them, after my experience with having these two perfumes, has got to be the Crybaby perfume. This perfume will forever be an iconic Melanie Martinez merch item because of the presentation, the quality of the product, and how original the perfume is. Let's not forget that iconic Crybaby perfume milk ad that Melanie Martinez did almost 10 years ago. I'm still obsessed with this ad. If you still feel on the defense of whether or not the perfumes are worth it, there is actually sellers of Mercari selling the Crybaby perfume in portal perfumes in 0.5 to 10 milliliter samples. They would cost between between 10 to $100, all varying on what sample size you're planning on purchasing. This will definitely help you on making a wise decision while also being on a budget. Or if you like, you can purchase one of my plushies that are scented with one of the perfumes. If you have a personal preference or want to try out a specific perfume on my plushie, make sure to message me so that I could be able to scent the plushie with the perfume that you want. Crybaby perfume not included. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see me create more videos, including with the portal perfumes or with the crybaby perfume, comment down below. If you guys want to follow me for more of my content, subscribe to my channel. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you phase all in my next videos. Bye, Faze!